What's up guys, Josh from Strengthside. Today we're going over two body weight leg exercises that will improve your flexibility. So for me, if you can relate, I spent a lot of time in the gym lifting heavy, doing heavy squats, deadlifts. It was cool, I got stronger, but it left me really stiff and I lost a lot of mobility. And in turn, I lost a lot of athleticism too. I turned into this guy who couldn't run around anymore. <laughs> so with these body weight leg movements, it's going to be, you're going to be working on strength through range of motion, right? So it's going to be kind of restoring your body's natural ability to use these ranges and you're also going to be getting some strength component too, right? So this is going to, you know, I hear the term functional. You ever heard that term? Um, these are going to result in your body just becoming more functional. Now, obviously, these aren't going to make your legs big and jacked like a bodybuilder or a power lifter. If that is your main goal, then you got to go do those weighted exercises. But if you can relate, if you've spent a lot of time kind of pounding your body away, you want to take a break from that. You want to feel better, you want to get a little bit more flexible, throw these exercises in. Let's get to it. First up, we have the Cossack Squat. The Cossack Squat brings a lot of mobility gains for the inner thighs, hamstrings, and ankles. It also trains your body in the frontal plane, which means side to side, which as you can imagine is different than most of the stuff that we do in the gym. To execute the movement, simply bend one knee, squatting to one side, and keep your other leg straight. Pick up the toe of the straight leg and you can slightly rotate your torso towards that straight leg. This will make it easier to get into deeper ranges of motion. Keep your legs straight as you come back up and press into the heel to use the muscles of the straight leg in a stretched position. So if you're watching this thinking, bro, you're crazy, I could never do that. Don't be so sure. Try elevating the heel of the leg that you're squatting to. Start with just going as deep as you can. Maybe that's just getting the hip down to knee height, and that's fine. Then slowly work your way down more and more. Keep in mind that most people don't start with a super deep Cossack squat. It can take time to work your way to these deeper ranges of motion. Put in the work and you'll get there. A harder variation for most people will be to keep the foot of the straight leg pointing forwards. This will put a big demand on the flexibility of your inner thighs. This is something that I'm currently working on in order to open up the side split range. And oh boy, you can tell it needs some work. We're getting there. Next up, we have the good morning. If you spent a lot of time deadlifting or just sitting around on the couch, your hamstrings are probably pretty damn stiff. The good morning will help strengthen those hamstrings over a length stretched position. The single leg variation is my favorite for opening up the hammies. Put all your weight into one leg and put the toe of the non-working leg right next to the heel. This is just for balance and stabilization. Keep the knee of the working leg completely straight. And now I want you to keep your back extended and hinge forward at the hips. It's super important to keep the arch in the lower back as this is what will put the hamstring on the greatest stretch and it will also train the relationship between your spine and your pelvis. You can put your hand in the small of your back to make sure that you're not starting to round there. Sometimes if you don't have your hand there, you can definitely start to cheat this movement. If the single leg variation is too challenging, then no problem, bruh. We ain't got no problems, bruh. We can do the double leg variation. For this, the form stays the same. We arch the lower back, we send the hips backwards, keeping the knees straight, and then we come back up to the start. You should feel a good stretch in your hamstrings, especially if you're prioritizing the lower back arch and the knees being completely straight. And if you're looking for something that's more intense, you put some time in here, you're ready for it. You can lift the toe of that non-working leg. This is going to put a lot more load on the working leg and really challenge the stabilization of the hip and also put a lot of strength component into the hamstring. 
this movement can be pretty challenging in the beginning and can definitely take some time of just practicing and building up the capacity to be able to do this. One thing I do want to mention again, and I may sound like a broken record here, but keep the working leg completely straight. A lot of the time I see that people's knee will do this little micro bend thing and you won't be getting the full gains and mobility. So when you try these out, it's probably going to be pretty humbling. You may not be able to do the full expression of these movements, but over time, if you follow the regressed versions that I showed in the video, you're going to be able to eventually get those full movements. And with that is going to come all the flexibility and accompanying the flexibility is going to be feeling good, man. You're going to want to go chill out on the beach or uh, I can't think of something to say. Okay. Um, <laughs> leave this in, leave this in. <laughs> I want people to know I mess up all the time. Um, let us know how these movements are going for you. Like the video. Both of these are in move strong now accompanied with a lot of other exercises that are all aimed at opening up your body, making you feel good again. You know, you don't have to settle for stiffness. You can get a good functional body back. <laughs> Maybe not childlike, that's the wrong word. <laughs> All right, guys, subscribe to Strength Side as always.